There's a scene at the end of this movie I really like called The Green Knight where, spoiler alert, Gawain is ready to complete his quest that he's been on the whole movie. To complete it, the Green Knight will deliver the same blow that Gawain had delivered to him a year earlier, which was decapitation. So essentially Gawain made this big journey just to die. He had this crazy adventure, faced so many tests, failed so many tests, just to end up here, having completed his quest. The Green Knight asks him if he's ready and he says yes. When he goes to drop the axe, Gawain flinches. He steals himself, tries to get brave, then they try again, and Gawain stops him again. He's manic at this point. Then he asks the Green Knight what I feel is the most important question of the movie. He asks, Is this really all there is? Meaning he did all this, faced all these tests, and after all that, he just dies here? The Green Knight looks at him, confused, and responds, What else ought there be? As if he can't even fathom that there was supposed to be something more. And I feel this is a beautiful analogy for our pursuit of goals in our life. When we have this thing we're working towards, this thing that we wanted to achieve for so long, and then we get it, instead of feeling ecstatic, a lot of the time, we feel empty. Is this all there is? There's this ancient wisdom in the Bhagavad Gita that talks about how you should take action for the sake of the action itself, and not for the fruit of the action. And although this is the ideal, if we're being honest, a lot of the time, we want that fruit as well. But I feel that when we do reach one of our goals, and we realize this, it helps us to remember that this is the ideal. That when you get to the top of the mountain, there's no real benefit, there's just another mountain. So the joy comes from the journey itself, which is a cliche saying that we've all heard hundreds of times, but it's so true. The Stoics looked at virtue as its own reward, and vice as its own punishment. The worldly rewards or punishments that came as a result of our actions weren't held in high regard. And so whether it's the Bhagavad Gita, Stoicism, or something else, wisdom seems to all say the same thing. That having goals is fine, working towards something is fine. But it's best to remember that we're working towards something for the sake of working towards something, not to get something out of it. If we're trying to feel complete by accomplishing our goals, when we finally achieve it, we'll find ourselves looking in the mirror and asking if this is all there is.